It's been a while. How everyone doing? I know most of the camera nerd love to watch rigging video. Not gonna lie, included myself. So today I'm gonna share about my FSX build, which I'm gonna film a documentary across Malaysia. Uh, mostly on handheld, so whatever you see in this setup is tailor-made for me and my team use. And yeah, you see the weird fairing and the bokeh, yes. This video is filming on HS2H open gate with a Lawa Nanomorph 50mm Ambers version of the anamorphic lens. It's also for me to test out how good this look. Now, let's tear it out and build it from the ground up. So, of course, with the body, we need a base plan. Let's start with the Tiltas FS6 kit. So, this base plan basically provides two airy standard rosette for us to mount the handle or anything the top plate. Usually people call this cheese plate. Yep, after this we will have the side panels. There you go, the side panel. And I do purchase this for the Wii mount adapters which directly go into the power slot of the FX6. Yeah. And the power cable is just nicely set next to the body. The next will be a shoulder pad that I get from Small Rig. So we need two rod and slot all the way in. Tighten up. Now we have a shoulder pad and it's a Manfrotto base plate. So the original top handles. We have to use back the original top handle because you have so much feature on the top handle itself that I cannot live without. You know, the dials, the zoom rocker, the record button and everything. So, oh, I already pre-installed here. If the camera can see. This is a small rig hot lock system. It's quite interesting indeed. Yep. You can just lock in like this and release. And the other end of the Ninja 5, I also put on another adapter so we can just simply lock in. Yes. And I can adjust with the magic arm of this, I can simply adjust any angle I want. Let's put on the lens. V mount. Yes. This is a basic kit. So to install the handle, let's put this on the tripod first. Yep. And this handle bar, I get it from another brand called Camvet. I not exactly know uh, what brand they are, but they are affordable and the quality is acceptable. Not bad indeed. One side down, and also from the same brand because this side I have to put with the controllers. So I get another arm which they can extend. Yeah, cam wet. And now, last piece of the magic here, which is from Small Rig, where it's connect with the handles and allow the handle to rotate like usual we put on the body. So we can put in the handle like you should. Lock it down. And we can adjust the direction. And the adapter does come with the cables that can connect between the cameras and the controls. I'll put the audio receiver, the Deity BBTRX, on the side of the body, on the cold shoes. Now let's power, keep the power of the Ninja 5 and I usually set my monitors this way which is upside down and facing backward so whoever will operate the camera the director get to see whatever he shot from behind HDMI of course the Rode NTG5 one of my all time favorite mic
the lens hood of this uh, power zoom 28 to 135 mils uh, not a fan of this it's plasticky but sometimes when you need you need and the last piece of the puzzle is this lcd look this is in fact a very old thing of my last time i used on 5d mark 3 to see the lcd it's not exactly the same size because this screen is slightly bigger but it will do the job just fine in fact i do some 3d printing of this uh, exact size just that some detail we haven't finalized so we cannot replace just yet so i will use this for temporarily yep that's it for the build so this setup is very easy we can pull on a tripod quickly and release from the tripod turn into a shoulder rig mode yes Yep, this is the build and uh, we can get every control from the handle itself which is zooming in, zooming out, control, record and everything so this is a pretty cool build huh? Yes, this is Tilta new release product Lightweight Shoulder Rig and it's just announced right after I done building my own rig and start filming. But gotta be honest with you, this does feel a little bit better than my build. Yep, so that's all for this video. If you love to see one more video of this Tilta lightweight shoulder rig built on my FX6, comment and let me know. See you in the next video.